Hi guys, this is DJ Naked in my first video where I'm actually speaking instead of just typing things on my computer. I'm from Norway, so I have to pardon my French as they say. My English isn't perfect, but I will try to speak as clearly and properly as I can. On this video, I'm going to take up the problem or uh, the traditional staged rocket where we have like core and four or six symmetry uh, boosters on the side. These ones can take you quite high and things, but they aren't particularly efficient. There we have the asparagus staging. Uh, as you can see on the chart here, uh, the ones marked with one are dropped first. They also feed fuel to number two, three and into the core. And these number one engines are empty, they will uh, be dropped. And the same with number two and number three engines. When we get to about 40,000 uh, meters. So I will now launch a traditional mainsail type um, vehicle and we will see the results on this one. Then I will launch an asparagus stage one and then I will launch one I'm calling an uh, enhanced asparagus. You will see what I mean with that when we get there. So let's launch our first rocket. Six radially mounted mainsail boosters, a mainsail core, and the radially mounted boosters are dropped all at once when they are empty. And I want you guys to notice the thrust to weight ratio and the throttle on this trip. This thing is now launching at eight times the real speed. Get through the thick part of the atmosphere, the gravity turn, the thinner part of the atmosphere, and finally we are getting up into space. When we get up to 100 kilometers, it is circulating its orbit, and we are almost done. Let's take a look at the numbers. But there really isn't too much to say. It has launched 37 tons into the orbit and could probably go to the moon and back but that is not the point of this video. So how can we approve upon this? On the second launch it's still six radially mounted mainsail boosters, mainsail core, but pairs of the boosters are dropped when they run out of fuel. This way we will save dead weight on our ascent and keep the thrust to weight ratio quite constant and thus being quite efficient. Two of the pairs have already been dropped and the third is about to be dropped. We will now go towards the apoapsis and do the circulation burn as you guys probably have done a hundred times before. Almost done and let's take a look at the numbers. Here we have 53 tons in orbit. That is about 40 to 45 percent more than on the other launch. That is almost 50% more. However, this can also be improved. So here's a table of some of the properties of the high power engines. The thing is, the LB30 and the 45 engines have a higher specific impulse than the mainsail. Uh, specific impulse is not really fuel efficiency, but in the end it tells us how fuel efficient the engine is. Guys like Scott Manley and probably others can explain what it really is. However, on today's third launch I've attached 24 LV30s and 7 LV45s on the otherwise the same asparagus design. Well, what can one say? 66.22 tons into a 100 km orbit. And even with more than 700 meters per second of delta V left in the main stage booster. A trip to the moon's sphere of influence from a low curve in orbit needs roughly a thousand meters per second of delta V. That's more or less 70% of the fuel needed left in our booster. Imagine this were a refueling mission to your space station. Now with this design compared to our first launch, you can take the better part of an orange tank worth of fuel extra. Totally, it brings 80% more weight into the 100 km orbit. Let's take a look at another table I've made and do some more compares of the three designs. I'll do a quick explanation of what this is. 
it's a thrust to weight ratio it's the speed the height and the weight of the different designs when it's on the ground when the first pair of tank drop at five kilometers altitude when the second tank drop at 15 kilometer altitude when the third pair of tanks drop and at 69 kilometers and also at a hundred kilometer orbit. Take a look at the notes, they are quite informative. At the end of this video I'll show you how to attach multiple LVT engines to your rocket, but in the meantime here's some music made by a 16 year old that's in my brother-in-law's school class. Good luck and have fun! Thank you.